हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन बी नीन एंड द कार्ड गेम बाय कोड फोर्सेस सो प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट यू एंड नीन आर प्लेइंग अ कार्ड गेम द डेक विद टू एन कार्ड इज यूज टू प्ले दिस गेम ईच कार्ड हैज एन एंटीजर फ्रॉम वन टू एन ऑन इट एंड थ्रू ईच ऑफ द एंटीजर्स वन थ्रू एन अपेयर्स एग्जैक्टली ऑन टू कार्ड्स एडिशनली देर इज अ टेबल वेयर कार्ड्स आर प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द गेम इनिशियली द टेबल इज एम In the beginning of game, the two N cards are distributed between you and Neen, so that each player receives N cards. After it, you and Neen alternatively take two N turns. That is, each person take N turns, starting with you. On each turn, the player whose turn is it selects one of the cards in his hand. Let X be the number on it. The player whose turn is it receives one point. If there is already a card with the integer x on the table, otherwise he receives zero point. After it, he places the selected card with integer x on the table. Note that turns are made publicly. Each player can see all the cards on table at each moment. Neen is very smart, so she always selects cards optimally in order to maximize her score in the end of the game. After two end rounds, if she has several optimal moves. She selects the move that minimizes your score in the end of the game. More formally, Nina always takes turns optimally in order to maximize her score in the end of the game in the first place and to minimize your score in the end of the game in the second place. Assuming that cards are already distributed and cards in your hand have integers a1 to a n written on them, what is the maximum number of points you can get by taking your turns optimally? so let's understand first what the question states here so suppose we have two n cards so let the n be 5 so if you have two n cards you have 1 2 3 4 five suppose these are the cards and again 1 2 3 4 5 as for each of them you have two two cards so this is the deck which we have now suppose we have integers a1 to an so let a1 to an which means a1 to a5 be the numbers 1 2 2 3 5 now we have these cards so what cards neen will have one two is already twice with us three four and five now what is left two ones are done one more four can be taken so okay now we have five cards here five cards here so suppose i am the first one to play the game so the question states that you are the first one as the game is starting with us so as the game is starting with us suppose we throw the card one so now card one is on the table if neen wants to win she will give the card one from her deck so our card one is gone she plays gives the card one here and as the card matches with the card on the table she will get one point from this now suppose i throw card 2 so for card 2 neen does not have any card matching with 2 so she can play any of the cards maybe 4 which we also don't have then after this suppose she plays 3 so neen can also play 3 there and neen will have two points now suppose we play 2 so neen does not have any card again she plays 4 then we play 5 neen play 5 and her count becomes 3 but here what is happening we get 0 points and neen got 3 points we want to maximize our score so 
to maximize our score we need to keep our cards which are matching till the end of the game so basically what we need to do is just count the number of cards which are twice in our deck and that will be my answer so in that case if i have 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 so the maximum points which i can get is the pairing so we have one pair here so answer is 1 so how we can get this if i write here 1 2 is not applicable here 1 3 4 4 5 and here we have removed four here we have removed two okay so now we have these five cards and these five cards now our turn starts we play one there so neen also plays so neen also plays one we play three neen also plays three we play 5 neen also plays 5 now if we play 2 now when i place 2 here neen will place 4 so i can place 2 again so i get one point here and neen will get other four points but what is the maximum number of points i can score that is 1 which means the number of pairs which i have i can score at maximum so you can play the card in any order because the order does not matter here if suppose first i placed on table 2 then i placed 1 then i again placed 2 still i will get one point because 2 is already there on the table doesn't matter it was placed at last or before or after so now let's look at one of the test cases to understand it in a more better way suppose you have 1 1 2 3 1 so here you get a pair of 1 1 1 is 1 now here you get two pairs 8 8 and 5 5 so output is 2 here you get one pair Four four, so output is one. Here all number are distinct. Output zero. Here only one number is present, so it is obviously distinct. Answer is zero. Hence, you need to get the frequency of the elements. Wherever the frequency of the elements is two, increment the answer. And that's the solution. So let's look at the code. So this is the code. What we are doing is. taking the input of the numbers and n as mentioned and then initializing answer to 0 we take a map to store the count so we are counting how many times an integer occurred as soon as integer occurred two times we increment the answer by 1 and at last return our answer so this is the code and i hope you all understand the solution also Thanks for watching